What's your name? Avana. Avana, I'm Azariah. Did you understand what the brother was saying? All right, okay. So, give me Deuteronomy 2815. Yes, 2815. Matter of fact, hold this. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. So, do you understand who you, what your nationality is? You understand why we out here? All right. What, why, why are we out here? Yeah, to prove a point. We're not going to stand out here for nothing. You're right. To prove a point. What kind of point is that? Okay, okay. All right, so that was one of the points that he that he made, right? But watch this. Read this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner. All right, so what's being established right now? We got the prophet Isaiah making an example, right? He says, the ox knoweth his owner, right? And you know what an ox is. It's an animal, right? It's a, it's a, it's a beast, right? We will have for uh, livestock, so, for, for, uh, so to speak, right? It's livestock. Uh, 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 ox is, it says what? And the ass his master's crib. The, the ox knoweth his owner. So the ox, when we were on livestock, the Bible says that ox knoweth his owner, right? It knows who he belongs to, okay? And the ass his master's crib. And a donkey knows where he comes from. So if a donkey got lost along the way while we're transferring our herd, it knows how to find its way back to, to it, where it comes from back to the owner right so the what's being established is an example of uh, a comparison to the nation of Israel right it says the ox knows his owner and the, the the donkey knows where he comes from okay so follow the example listen carefully but Israel but who but Israel but the nation of Israel right check out this sign right behind this brother right here check out that sign blacks Hispanics and Native Americans when you look at that sign okay can you see it Right here, right? Blacks, American blacks, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, right? The Bible compares them to two animals. What are those animals? A, a ox and a donkey, very good. The Bible compares all of those people that you see on that sign, these blacks, these Hispanics, and these Native Americans to two docile animals. Docile animals, that means they're not very smart. They have to have guidance. You understand? So the Bible says Israel, these blacks and Hispanics are compared to a uh, ox and a dumb, a dumb uh, 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 ass or a dumb uh, donkey. Okay? But Israel does not know. Uh -huh. My people does not consider. So we got these people walking around in this neighborhood. Uh, uh, where we at? Uh, 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 where we at? Uh, Mike, where we at? Ingleside, Ingleside, right? We in Norfolk, right? We got a bunch of blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. The Bible right now, our people don't know, compares them to dumb animals. Right. Why? Because our people are walking around docile. Our people are walking around not knowing where we come from, not knowing who owns us, right? right? Our people are walking around without a clue of where the hell we came from. Right. You understand? And guess what? That last part says, but my people, what? But my, but Israel does not know. Uh -huh. My people does not consider. Hey, brother, come over here real quick. Brother with the gray hoodie. Come here real quick. The Bible says that Israel does not even consider where we come from. How is it that we walking around with all this oppression on our shoulders and we don't even consider why we being oppressed? Jeez. We don't even consider that the so-called black man can outdo anybody on the earth, yet he the most oppressed man on the earth. Right. Why is that, sis? Why is it, how old are you? 15, this isn't your child, is it? This is your goddaughter. Why is it that my sister at 15 years old is walking around one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Virginia by herself with a young child? Why is that, sis? You don't think that's odd, do you? The Bible says that what? My people don't what? My people does not consider. The Bible says that God's people don't even consider. We used to the oppression. Right, right. You walking around at 15 years old in a, one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Virginia with a baby. Bring it out. With no hands, no protection over right, you. Right. And we the most oppressed people, sis. You understand that? 
The Bible says we don't even know who we are. My brother, come closer. I want you to look at these signs over here. All right, come around the sister right here. Come around this way. Yep, look at this sign and see where you see yourself. You gotta go? All right, look, sis, it's high time that we wake up, okay? It's very high time that we wake up. We must repent, all right? We are the Israelites, what? all right? You seen that sign, blacks and Hispanics. We are the Israelites. All of these curses that the brother was reading to you earlier, this has happened to us, bro. You understand? And it's still happening to us. The brother read you a scripture. Go back to that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. 32. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The Bible says our sons and our daughters will be taken from us. In slavery, this is what happened. And it's still happening to this day. Why? Because we are oppressed people and we broke the commandments of the Lord. Right. You understand? We gonna get into it. I want you to stay right there. Sis, I know you said you gotta go. Give me that in Matthew real quick. All right? Sis, we must repent. That's the reason why we're here. You think we always lived here? You think we all, this is our land? No. We are oppressed people. We were put in slavery because of our sins, my sister. Right. You understand? You following? The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach uh -huh. and to say, repent. Do what? Repent. The Bible says repent, rewind, return back to what you used to be. You was an Israelite before you were a nigga. Right. right. You were an Israelite before you were an African American. Right. right. You were an Israelite before you called yourself a West Indian. Right. right. You understand? You are an Israelite and you got to return back to what you were. Wake him up. You are a commandment keeper. That's what your people were doing. But when you stop that, guess what? God says your ass deserves slavery. Right. God says that black man right there, since that's what he want to call himself, he's going to be a slave now. He don't want to serve me. He don't want to serve the ruler of the earth, the God of earth, heaven and earth. Guess what? He's going to serve the devil. He gonna serve his enemy. He gonna get canceled on on, on, on media's right. media platform, and he gonna lose two billion dollars. You know what I'm talking about, right? right. right? You gonna you gonna get aired out on, on all over national news, right? You and your people gonna be called niggas, wetbacks, right? We gonna be called all manners of evil because of the evil that we do, right? So can we so much as point out the white man? And point and point the blame on him when it's our people that's messing up. Right. Is it our? Is it sure the white man might drop the guns on, in the neighborhoods? But who picking them up and, and shooting each other? That's what we doing. That's what we doing. We gotta have more sense than that as a people. But it's gonna start with you. You see any women up here? It's gonna, huh? Always here, sir. Good. All praises because that's what we should be doing. We should be teaching the women and the children. Right. But guess what? You supposed to be on this side. Right. So that's what we waiting on. Sis, I know you said you gotta go. You gotta repent. You got a flyer. I want you to look on the back of that flyer. I know you got a smartphone. You got a smartphone, right? You got a computer at home? You got internet? You got access to internet. I want you to go online, look on the back of that flyer, and I want you to uh 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 Get on that website, israelunite.org, and find out about yourself and what you got to do. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.